Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Again, it's so important to understand this ratio. Again, this is what we. I'm just going back to. I, I said these exact same things at the beginning of the, um, at the when I was first teaching, first teaching the trick. But yes, it's it's it is opposite over hypotenuse, but it's much more than that. It's basically saying how much bigger is the hypotenuse compared to this opposite. Now, again, what might make a little bit more sense to you? Let's convert this to a percentage. So if I do five divided by six, I get 0.83 which if I convert it to a percentage, means 83%. What that means is the length of the opposite side is 83%, Brian, of the length of the hypotenuse. Oh That's what that 0.83 means. It's, this is 83% of that length. That's what, the op, that's what the sign is basically telling us, is how much, how much bigger is the hypotenuse? Well, this is 83% of that value. So that's what yes, Matt. No, I mean, this is not what we will be. Um, well, the, I'm not, we're not going to be using, you'll see in my directions, I am, I'm using the 83% as a understanding measure. But if you remember on the last quiz, I wanted you to leave everything in fractional form, right? So yes, your understanding of 83% would like, makes se <laughs> sense, um, but basically what we're looking at is leaving everything in like our fractional form. Yes? Yeah, but you, the only way to get to your decimal form is you had to divide five or six. You would just leave it like that. This is more work. You just have five or six, that's it, done. You don't have to go any farther. I'm going to go over what we're going to cover in class. I just wanted to, I, I mean, I'm going to go over problems that you would see so you'll understand how to leave the answer. My main point of thing is everybody remembers sine and cosine, which is correct. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent opposite over adjacent. But again, a lot of times when we get, we're going to start getting answers as decimals. And I want everybody to kind of understand, like, what exactly do these decimals mean? Rather than just, hey, here's my answer as a decimal. Well, if you get a decimal and you get sine of some angle is 0.83, right? Let's, let's just forget about all of this. Let's just pretend my answer is, you know, I do sine of some angle, whatever that angle is, and I get 0.83. Conceptually, what does 0.83 mean? Oh, of whatever angle. Let's just say it's 36 degrees, right? And we're going to do problems like this. But what if my answer, sine of 36 degrees, is 0.83? Conceptually, what does that tell you? Oh, a triangle at 36 degrees means the opposite side is 83% of the length of the hypotenuse, right? So I'm not using it as this is what you're going to do for a test or on a quiz. I'm just doing it for your conceptual understanding of getting these decimals because that's what we're going to kind of move into next, all right? So my example that I wanted to work on, 